welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I like to help bloggers grow their blogs and also just live a slower and simpler life. So today's video is gonna be about my minimalist makeup routine. I'm all about like keeping things minimal in my house now, now that I'm just like spending so much more time here. So I thought I'd show you like my makeup routine because I don't know, I'm like really into makeup. If that's not something you know about me, I, I love beauty, I, I love skincare. I just don't really talk about it as much. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just do a quick video today and show you how I get to be glowy, still me, my skin's still showing through, my blemish is still showing through, and all of that good stuff. So before we get started with makeup, I'm gonna get started with skincare. So I already have my sunblock. Now I'm just gonna top things off and put, um, well, let me tie my hair first so that my hair is out of the way. So I want my makeup to look natural and just very me, but just with a little bit of oomph. So I'm gonna be adding some two drops of this face oil from The Ordinary. It's the 100% plant derived squalene. Two drops to my face or to my hem. And this is meant for people with um, oily skin. So the oil just immediately gets absorbed into the skin. Oh yeah, by the way, this is how my skin looks like. This is like the current situation. I have like some acne, mostly blemishes are just there. I like to think that's just my acne leaving a legacy on my face. They just want to express themselves fully. So that's how their full self-expression looks like. <laughs> Next up, I'm gonna take up my Nivea cream and just put a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. And just rub it between my ring fingers. So like lately when I put on concealer, it looks a little bit like crepey, cakey. So it helps to make the concealer move around on my face and not look so dry is like putting on this Nivea cream. So it's not just for your hands. You can also put it on your under eyes. I also put it on my hair too before I shower. And then next is like my lip mask. This is the Plush Party Buttery Vitamin C Lip Mask. I'm just gonna put on just a little bit. All right, so I have all my makeup lined up in front of me and it doesn't look like it's gonna be a minimalist makeup routine. So I'm just gonna call it like simple, healthy, glowy makeup. But to me, this is minimal because it's just like the very basic things that I want. And then just a few little extras that I like to um, put on, which at the end of the day, if that is what makes me happy, then that's really all that matters. So if you're trying to do a minimalist makeup routine too, just get rid of everything that you don't use and keep the stuff that spark joy. That's it do the KonMari routine when it comes to makeup. So I'm gonna put on my foundation. This is the Douglas Skin Augmenting Foundation. This is very similar to the Icy Cosmetics CC Cream. So I'm just gonna put like a tiny, tiny bit and then I'm gonna just warm it up on my hand. And once it's all warmed up. So this is kind of like full coverage, but I just like do little dabs around my face, focusing more on this area and then not so much on my forehead because I feel like once you have um, foundation on your forehead and your nose, it's very obvious that you have makeup. So I'll put makeup around my nose but not here on the bridge. I'm gonna take my makeup sponge and just stamp my face. So the finish of this foundation is like um, skin. I think it's like a satin finish is what you would call it. So the skin still shows through, but it's not too shiny and it's not matte. So I can kind of see if I move my head around, there's like a little bit of um, sheen coming through, which is what I'm going for. And because I put on the face oil, it blends much better with my skin. So I'm just gonna put more of that foundation under my eyes. I know people use um, like a lighter color or a separate or an actual concealer, but I think with this foundation, because it is like full coverage, oh, they call it foundation and concealer. Well, because it is like full coverage, I just use it as my concealer too. I just um, double up where what needs a bit more coverage. And then I have like all these acne scars here. But on most days, I just don't even bother trying to cover them up or adding a second layer. If they want to show through, then let them show through. I feel like it's just better to let go, not care that you have acne scars and blemishes, and just move on with your life. You know, life is too short to care about your acne scars. And I feel like if you're really focused on how bad your acne scars are, like if your situation is just like this, your life isn't that big. You probably need to have bigger problems in your life. You need to live a bigger life 
that's how I think. Okay, so my skin is looking the way I want it to. I have like some dark circles. They're still showing through. I still look like me, but it's just like I feel a little bit brighter and I look a bit more awake. And the next thing I'm gonna do is take my Dukeless Lip and Cheek Balm. It looks like this. You can put on your cheeks, you can put on your lips. I'm just gonna go ahead and rub it. And here's a trick I do to make um, cream blush or balms look a bit more natural on your face. Put it into my palms. I read this on Google somewhere. Rub it till it gets all warm and then look pink like this and you just stamp it right on your cheeks. And I feel like the palm over here fits just perfect on the cheeks. And then to blend, I just use these edges on my face just to blend it up. So I like to put it up just a bit higher so I have like a little lifted look. And then whatever is left over, put on my nose. So look, I have like that sun-kissed look. I just want to look like it's a forever summer. So next I'm going to take up my highlighter stick. This is from Sunny's Face in the color Hey Girl. I'm just going to put it, do like a few strokes there, right between like my palm again. And then focus, just like touch the top of my cheekbone. That way there's a bit more of that highlight there. So I'm just using the edge of my palm just to focus on like below my eyebrows, this bone here that goes around the eye and then here into the top of my cheekbone. And then whatever's left over on the nose. Always like to check in this crease over here because concealer just uh, gets in there. So I'm gonna take my sponge and um, blend that out. And then taking my Innisfree No Sebum Moisture Powder, pour some of this powder onto the cap. Um, tapping the excess on my skin, press it onto under my eyes, on my nose, wherever I get oily. So it's gonna be um, like the T-zone around the nose, my chin, and then I also tend to get oily here and like around the jaw. So this is the Gimme Brow Brow Gel. I'm just gonna put it on my brows. So it helps a lot if your eyebrows are already tweezed, that way you just kind of follow the shape. Um, I did that just a little while ago. Um, so I'm just gonna follow the shape, focusing on the tail end first and then going inwards towards like my the inner brow over here. Just going for natural today. Going for me. And then next is my eyelash curler. So I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I like to do the root and then the tip so that it's really curled and they stand out. So normally I would stop here um, and go for my setting spear already, but um, I'm just gonna put on mascara. On some days I feel like doing it, other days I don't. Today I don't, <laughs> but I'm just gonna do it for the camera anyway. Uh, just cause I hate at the end of the day having to remove mascara or eye makeup. So this is the Tarte mascara called Man Eater. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and brush my lashes from root to tip. Not really going for a full lash look, just going for um, lashes that are thicker or more visible to the human eye because my lashes are kind of short. So this is how it's looking right now. Next are lips. And then I'm gonna show you a few different um, colors that I go for that's just like very natural looking. And you might like this, especially if you have um, similar skin tone to me. First is just gonna be the easiest. It's just like a lip oil. So this one is from Douglas. There's no added color to this. It's just like, if you want your lip color to show through, but you want your lips just to look a bit like shiny or glossy, this is what I would wear. And then this would be like the finished look. Next up is this uh, MAC lipstick in Fanfare. And it's like, I don't know, a pinky nude. And I just apply it like that and just like blot it. So that the color of my lips still show through, but there's still like a little hint of color. And then this next lip combo I like to wear is a mix of these two colors. This is the L'Oreal Color Reshine. Shine. So I use the color Burnish Blush on my lips. I do one layer and it's pretty pink, like a little bit pink for me. So I'm just gonna dab a little bit of that off and then top it off with Glossy Fawn, which is like a nudie, nudie beige. And then this is like my spring look. If I want it to be a bit more pink, I'll just add more pink um, and get like the perfect shade of according to my mood. All right, so this is how the makeup looks like once it's done. Now it's just like one last step and that is the setting spray. So this is the one from BH Cosmetics called Paradise Set. And this is the mattifying setting spray because I get oily throughout the day, but because I have like a little bit of shine from my makeup, it's still gonna show through. I just won't have excess oil on my face. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face until I feel very sweaty. 
I think I could put more. Just take your bye-bye and then bye-bye yourself. Okay, so the deal, the thing with this uh, setting spray is that it's like setting my hair too. I can just use this for hairspray because I don't have any. I think I'll try it on my hair. You never know. I'm very curious. Wouldn't that be nice? And then I don't have to buy hairspray. All right, so I just had an insight because of this. So I think the key to living minimally and more simpler is to find different uses for an item that usually has one use. So now I can use this for hairspray. That's awesome. I can tell my hair is like set. It still has like flexibility and move because it's supposed to move in my face, but set my makeup. I don't know. I'll see. I'll put a note on how that turns out. So this is my makeup look. This is like my healthy, glowy, simple makeup. And to me, it's minimal. But when I'm looking at all the makeup products, it might not be minimal to other people, but to me, it is. But the great part is that I don't use any brushes. The only tools I use is this uh, sponge, my eyelash curler, which I always have to have with me, and then the powder puff that comes in this powder. But even then, I can use my sponge for this powder. Yeah, so that's today's makeup look. I hope this is something you enjoyed. I really love talking about beauty and I love to do more of these videos in the future. So here's a close-up. It's still like my skin showing through, but there's some glow. There's a bit more color in the places where I want color. So yeah, this is like how the skin looks like. I really like it. I actually like that I have blemishes, believe it or not. I feel like it just makes me feel like me and has me enjoy my skin being this way as opposed to me waiting for like my acne to be gone or my blemishes to be gone and then being like, oh, I, I can't wait for like my blemishes to be gone and then kind of just waiting for that day and then not being happy every time I see my face. Like, I don't know, that's not happiness to me. Happiness and being content is just being at peace with what you have and what you don't have. And I'm looking at my face, I feel so vain. <laughs> as I say that, but yeah. And I, I like to find a lot of insight in things I do, like doing my makeup or even like doing this painting. I feel like I learned a lot of life lessons from that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. My name is Jojo. I also help bloggers grow their blogs. So if you wanna check out that content, go ahead and do that. So I have a lot of great free resources for bloggers and people who just want to simplify your life. I've got like Lightroom presets, a mini blogging course. I also have an actual blogging course that's open right now called the Bold Blogger Academy. I'll link everything below. And then I also have like a free undated life planner. I send you wallpapers every month. And on top of that, I have a gold planner on Etsy that's up there for you to buy. Anyway, um, I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and had some inspiration from living minimally or just enjoying like the skin that you have at the moment and just using makeup to make yourself just feel a bit more beautiful, have a bit more of that confidence boost in the day, even though you're staying at home. I know I'm staying at home, I'm not going anywhere with this makeup, but at least like every time you catch yourself in the mirror, you feel good and it gives you that little, that little uh, hormonal serotonin boost. Is that the right hormone? I don't know. Whichever the happy hormone is, I hope you get a little bit of that today. Yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!